Hey guys, uh, my name is Corey Wagner. I already told you this and you can see it underneath. But welcome back to my channel. So today I actually got really inspired, oh, where's my phone, by this one Instagram look that I saw. So I'm going to try and do that today. Not exactly like it. I'm probably going to put some of my touches on it because, you know, I'm a makeup artist. <laughs> also, guys, I apologize. I'm in the middle of my living room and it's a hot mess and my dogs are going to be walking back and forth in this. But hey, they're cute. We like it. It's good. So that's what we're gonna do. Say this wrong, Shailene Deeds, is, and she's a makeup artist, and I saw this look on her Instagram, and I literally just got so inspired, like I need to do it. So I'm gonna try something like that. I hope you guys enjoy, so stay tuned. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my face with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost, and I really like this because it reminds me of the Tatcha Water Cream, but it's obviously a quarter of the price. I put that on my skin, it's nice and Plump. Now I like to put two primers on my face because I'm like that. I think I said that in my last video, but it's the same primers I used in my last video. And I like to use the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. The good old Benefit Professional, just right here because that's where I'm like really pory, porous, pory, porous. Isn't that a Harry Potter name? No, it's Horus. No, I'll look up this name real quick actually let me look it up on my computer eh, I need to know I think it's Dumbledore's brother right what's Dumbledore's brother's name this is pissing me off that I don't know this Horace it is Horace Horace Slughorn though not Dumbledore idiot Oh, my brother's going to be disappointed in me. Now what I'm going to take for foundation is the Becca Ultimate... Oh, I'm not good at this. I'm not a beauty guru. The Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. And I saw Nikki Tutorials use this and I freaking love the way it looked on her. So I like it on me. I mean, it's not like... I have drugstore foundations, honestly, that I like a little better than this. It is darker than my skin tone, though, because I'm pale as hell. But we'll just bring it down our neck and it'll be okay. And I'm just using a damp beauty blender. I'm gonna dab this all over my face. I don't have a mirror. I just realized this. And why am I not focused? Hello? Okay, better. I don't have a mirror. I just realized this and it's, I'm gonna have to get up and get one, but I'm lazy. I think better or worse. I don't know. I can't tell. I finally have a mirror and it's gonna be in front of my face the whole time. I apologize. Well, this is really not my color. It's not lighting worse. Better. Worse. Whatever, we're just gonna leave it there for good faith. Move on to concealer. If I can find it. I still have all my makeup in like my to-go. My to-go bag, my doggy bag. In my travel bag because I was just at my parents. So for this, I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind because it's the first thing I found and it's my favorite drugstore concealer. And I found if I use too much concealer, my under eye looks so cakey, so I've been trying to minimize that. I'm just going to put a little bit, like, right in the corner of my eye, and then I like to put it down the side of my nose as well. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side, and then I- This concealer is also really light, which is going to lighten up the foundation, so that'll help them too. Put it on my chin, lip area, nose, and then a little on the forehead as well, like so. I'm just gonna use that same damn beauty blender to blend it out. Okay, there we go, that looks good. Next, we're gonna use the handy dandy Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is my go-to, I freaking love this. And it's just the original one, it's not the glow one. I actually kinda wanna try something though. I wanna try mixing the matte with the Glow Laura Mercier powder, just because I feel like sometimes the matte's too matte and I haven't tried the Glow, so I kinda wanna do that. But again, I need to get it, we'll figure it out. And I'm just gonna set my under eye using that same damp beauty blender with that Laura Mercier powder. I just realized I desperately need my mustache waxed. <laughs> but that's okay, but this powder, if you can see, I have no pores. You probably can't see because my lighting's awful. But it's okay. So now what I'm going to do is I like to... I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera just because 
there's nothing interesting there and they always turn out like shit anyhow do my eyebrows real quick they're dramatic because i have nothing else on my face i know but i just use the anastasia dip brow and the anastasia um the anastasia brush that you can buy with the dip brows well i really like that those are my favorite products when i'm around doing like more dramatic brows and i actually got them done semi quick i mean they're not the best but they're not the worst so it's okay i'm gonna try and kind of do something like it maybe with some different colors though i kind of want to use like green you love green but i actually like that navy so i don't think i i might not have a palette with that navy like matte navy actually i think i do I think I do, but it's like old. <laughs> like I'm not just saying old, old. It's really old. It's this Morphe crusty ass Morphe palette, and it's the 35D. And I think I got this like three years ago. But this is what it looks like, and it does have a matte blue in it, so I might use it. Ooh, focus, 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 focus on me. Okay. To start out, I'm just gonna use the matte blue. I think out of that Morphe palette I showed you. So, but I'm gonna use everything else out of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This is one of my favorite palettes because you can literally do so many looks with these colors. It's amazing. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush right here. It's just a blending brush, and I'm gonna take just a transition shade. I'm gonna take this first shade, this third shade in right here, and it's called Silk Cream. So I'm just gonna put that in my crease. <laughs> Some malfunction, it's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff that right into my crease and kind of like honestly all over my eye. I like the base that this gives. So now that I have just that plain transition shade in, I'm gonna go ahead and, this is like how I start every single one of my makeup looks. I'm gonna go in, actually I lied, I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna use this shade that's right in the middle and it's called Roxanne. And I'm gonna, I wish I could speak proper English. I'm going to use this Morphe brush. None of my brushes are clean. I'm sorry. I ran out of my cleaning stuff and I haven't got more. I'm going to dip into Roxanne and I'm going to put this lower in the crease, but still like in the crease area, just not as high as that first transition shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and fluff this in there and I'm going to put it all over. So I'm going to from inner corner to outer corner. All right, so now I'm gonna deepen up the crease even more and I'm just gonna use that same Morphe brush and I think I'm going to dip into the color right next to Roxanne and it's called Hillster again. And I'm gonna focus this real low and more, actually I'm gonna put it all over inner to outer as well. And I really just want this crease to have a good definition for when we cut it out to put that navy blue. My foot's asleep. <laughs> this is a struggle. No. Lily, stop. Don't lick my face. And I'm going to start cutting the crease. Sorry, this is going to be like really intricate. So I cut the crease. And I did it, cut it a little higher than the crease of my actual eye just because I felt like it. So I'm going to take that Morphe 35D palette that doesn't exist anymore probably. Sorry. And I'm going to take a flat brush, but I don't know which one. Go ahead and dip into that. And just start packing that everywhere that we put. This is not as dark as I thought. Maybe it's just because it's old. Everywhere we put that concealer on our eyes. Now that I laid down that blue, this is actually turning out really cool. I kind of like it. Like it's not all pulled together yet and I'm gonna add some touches, but I'm liking what I see so far. I'm gonna go ahead and take that same blending brush that we used before to do um, like more red-ish tones on the eye. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the Roxanne and the Hillster that we used both together a little bit and I'm just gonna blend out so there's not any harsh lines and you can't see like any concealer or anything like that now just to add some like cool touches to it I'm gonna put a little gold right kind of in my inner corner and I'm just gonna take this brush I have no clue what it is it's like a small fluffy brush kind of and I'm just gonna spritz it with some of my setting spray so it's nice and wet 
And I'm gonna use this gold shadow that's in that Mor Morphe palette. It's just a gold shimmer. And I'm gonna try and focus this. Actually, I can't because my camera won't focus. Okay, I'm gonna put this right on my inner corner. So, you know, I just picked it up a little bit on my brush. Let's put on some mascara and the Kiss Gala lashes. These are like my favorite drugstore lashes. I don't know why. I don't really like that much of Kiss's other lashes, but these ones are so nice. Like, I love these ones. So I'm gonna just, I just picked this up the other day and I actually really like it. The Morphe 8L uh, Lo-Fi palette. And it just looks like this. And it has the bronzers and highlight in it, which I really like. And to bronze slash kind of contour, I'm just gonna use this Morphe brush that came in a set as well. It's supposed to be a blush brush, but I really like the way it bronzes and contours. And I'm actually gonna dip into Donut and debutante which are the bottom which are the bottom two shades <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and warm up the face some so now what we're gonna do is get blush and i'm just gonna take this milani brush in romantic rose this is a drugstore blush but i actually really enjoy it and i'm just gonna take my elf blush brush and put this just right on the apples of my cheeks. I'm into a heavy blush, like I'm into it. I think it looks good. Especially in the winter, it just gives you that like flush look like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm cute. And now what I'm going to do is highlight, eek. And I like to take this BH Cosmetics brush it's like a fluffy brush i have no clue it's the number 10 brush i think and it just looks like that i'm just gonna use that same morphe palette for highlight just because why not and i think i'm gonna take supernova yeah which is this one right uh -huh. i'm gonna take supernova and just highlight to the gods not the gods of the god oh that's pretty look at that that's actually really pretty I'm just gonna have it's kind of pink it has a pink undertone and i kind of like it i'm just gonna highlight both sides of my face and i like to take it up on my forehead some just because why the hell why the heck not and then on the tip of my nose bridge and cupid's bow now what we're gonna do is just move on to the lower lash line for my wa waterline, I'm going to use the LA Girl Perfect Precision Black Eyeliner. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this right in the waterline. Done! Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that navy that we used in that Morphe palette. And I'm going to push that up against my... Where's the brush I'm going to use? I'm gonna just use this Morphe brush. It's like a tiny packer brush. And I'm just gonna push that up against my lash line as well. I'm gonna take the same colors we used from that Jaclyn Hill palette and smoke out the lower lash line. And what I'm gonna do is highlight my brow bone and inner corner. Now I'm just gonna take a different pencil brush. This is from, uh, another Morphe one, it's just from the different set. And I'm gonna take the two shades that are in the Jaclyn Hill palette, the highlighting shades, and just put that in the inner corner. And I'm gonna do the same colors on my brow bone. For lips, I'm going to go ahead and take this. Caddy, I'll play with you in a second. I'll play, oh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Oh. So for lips, I'm going to take the Smashbox, what color is this? I can't see. Does this even have a color? The only thing it says on the bottom is, be legendary lipstick made in Canada. So I don't know, it's just a nude Smashbox lipstick. Oh, my mom is still buying all of us Christmas presents even though I'm 21, my older brother's 25, and my little brother's 15. Oh my God, he's gonna be 16 like next week. My trailer what the hell if you know what movie that's from we can be friends <laughs> but 
but she's buying us Christmas presents. And she was texting me today and was like, hey, how about we do a spa weekend instead of you getting a lot of presents? I'm like, girl, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I completely forgot to cut out my bronzer slash contour stuff. So I'm just going to take that beauty blender that we've been using that has dog hair on it. And I'm going to dip in, ooh, ooh, it's spilled everywhere, into that Laura Mercier. And I'm just going to cut out my... Jawbone with that powder because that's what's gonna make this look look more like precise and not just oh she slapped on a ton of makeup you know you probably don't know I'm just crazy so I'm just gonna let this bake here for like a hot second and then I'm gonna just wipe it off with a fluffy brush and I'll be right back I don't know if you guys can tell because this lighting sucks, but that made my makeup look 10 times better. Yay. So now what I'm going to do is just take that Morphe Prep and Set, and I'm going to just spray this all over my face. My face. Again, I wish I had proper... I forgot to put on bottom, bottom mascara too. What am I doing? Well, I'm just going to spray this. And then we'll get to that. I'm going to let it dry now. Well, so for bottom mascara, because I'm doing everything backwards today, if I can find it, this is one of my favorites, and it's so, it's drugstore, it's like literally $5, it's the Essence Maximum Definition of Volume Mascara. I, righty, you guys, I think we actually did everything that we were supposed to do. Yay! It may have been backwards and out of order, but it's okay. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate it, please come back again. If you like this type of video of me finding inspiration and doing my take on the look, let me know. I'm definitely going to work on some more fashion hauls because I have so many clothes and I did some Black Friday shopping. So I'm going to bring that to you guys soon. Um, just thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Love you guys.